having the greatest attitude in the world was no better than having a really crappy attitude if you weren't getting in front of people who could somehow financially reward you for your terrific attitude. Hello and welcome to this month's Masterclass. I'm Darcy Juarez. I'm here with Dan Kennedy. And today we're talking about um, what a lot of member our members say, uh, that they come to us for marketing, but they say the biggest lessons are the ones you've taught them about money and wealth. So today we're talking about uh, the No BS uh, Wealth Attraction in the New Economy book. And uh, so, Dan, what got you really focused on wealth attraction? So, the all the book and all the training, everything I've done in this category grew out of my own benefit, which grew out of a real frustration with everything that was out there. So the reason I then codified it, I'm sorry, and published it, uh, is that um, my take on this is really very different than almost all of the wealth-related literature um, in this genre. Excuse me. It's very different than the attraction stuff that's out there in this genre. It started, though, so the frustration started with, uh, I'm broke, and I'm driving around in a really bad car with a cassette player on the seat and a jack that plays it out of the out of the cigarette mm-hmm. lighter thing in the dashboard. Um, everybody can now Google cigarette lighter <laughs> dashboard. Oh, you know. uh, uh, and I'm listening to my motivational tapes, you know, religiously, and I'm saying my affirmations in the morning. And I'm still broke, right? And I'm gradually becoming convinced that there's a missing piece here somewhere, Mm -hmm. right? And so the awareness then was that nearly all, most of the how not to be broke and therefore how to be rich uh, material is all was all about and is all about how to think okay it is all you can use different language for it it's about mindset it's about you know the the all-time bestseller think think <laughs> and grow rich right so much of it is metaphysical white mm-hmm. uh, so it's metaphysical stuff cleaned up a little so it doesn't scare people some of it is metaphysical heavy. Some of it is faith-based, right? Mm-hmm. So there's prosperity, gospel material, and that secularized. Um, um, and it, but it is all about what, how you're thinking, mm-hmm. right? Your attitude, yeah. Um, uh, uh, and there's a motivational speaker, I got a name, I won't do it. But he used to give everybody a sticker for their dashboard in the car, and it says, your attitude controls your altitude. Okay. Well, try that. Okay. Go get yourself in the greatest motivated attitude you can get and jump off the roof of a 20-story building and know gravity controls your altitude, right? And if the last thing you say is a positive affirmation, it ain't going to make any difference when you hit the pavement, right? So all of this, historical and contemporary, the run to burn the secret mm-hmm. thing. It was a big deal not too long ago. Um, all of it is about how to think. 
Now, that's important. It is relevant. Mm -hmm. But it's half mm -hmm. of the story. Mm -hmm. It's half of what's needed, right? Mm -hmm. You can't think your way to a Ferrari. And so I discovered, for example, I figured out that listening to my tapes, you know, and having the greatest attitude in the world was no better than having a really crappy attitude if you weren't getting in front of people who could somehow financially reward you for your terrific attitude, mm -hmm. right? Therefore, now real business issues come into this story. Market, target market, prospecting, how you pro like all now while well, all this is things to do, this is not things to think. Mm -hmm. This is things to do, right? So it maybe your attitude affects your altitude, but you gotta have a plane. Mm. Right? And, and so you you gotta build you can have a great attitude, but you better have a great sales script too, right? Because if you got a great attitude, but you got a terrible presentation, isn't going to make any difference, right? So I then divided my attention hmm. about half and a half. Okay. Right? About half continuing to deal with mindset, things to think, but about half with things to do. And the book is divided close to the same split. Mm -hmm. There's 28 wealth magnets in it, and about half of them, I don't know the exact count, but about half are about things to think, and about half are about things to do. If you want to learn from the greatest marketing minds of our generation, then subscribe to this channel and check out these videos. What are you waiting for? I'll see you in the next video.